welcome children to the third lecture on light in the previous video you learnt characteristics of real images in this video we shall be studying characteristics of virtual images virtual images are obtained behind the mirror there are no light rays behind the mirror so imagine how do we obtain a virtual image behind the mirror that is because the image is not really there at all the virtual image is just an illusion so virtual images are also called unreal images virtual images can be obtained on a screen the length and breadth of virtual images will be the same as that of the object and virtual images are always erect remember how real images were always inverted it's right the opposite virtual images are always erect so let's compare real images and virtual images can you see in the picture real in images are inverted that means they are upside down so whenever you see an upside down image it has to be a real image now look at the other picture virtual image can you see it's always erect this is the reflection of the mountain top on the water body and it is erect the second difference between real image and virtual image is that real images are formed by a concave mirror and a convex lens remind remember it is concave mirror and convex lens virtual images can be formed by concave convex or plane mirrors here can you see that the water is acting as a lens and the image of the candle is inverted and it is caught on the screen that is the table on which it is kept real invert images are inverted and also they are always caught on the screen on the contrary virtual images appear to be on the lens or the mirror itself a mirror with a flat surface is a plane mirror that reflects light and produces a virtual image without the interference of an inward or outward curve that means a plane mirror is neither concave nor convex it's just a flat surface characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror how should you identify that this image is formed by a plane mirror so first of all the image formed is erect it stands erect it's not inverted it is erect so therefore it's a virtual image the images are laterally inverted that means your left hand will appear as the right hand and your right hand will appear as the left hand in the image the image is of the same size as that of the object you will not appear taller than yourself in the mirror you will appear of the same size as you are in the mirror the image is laterally inverted that is the right side appears to be the left and the left side appears to be the right the image formed is far behind the mirror uh, as the object as is is in front of it that is whatever your distance is from the mirror your image will have the same distance from the mirror